What up? Steve spoke about needing to come out with more force and intensity on the defensive end to also get out, you know, in transition. What have you guys sort of discussed in that? Uh, just that we need to defend better, um, maintain dribble penetration. It'll help our offense out a lot as well. They got 12 corner threes. They hit eight. Those are obviously huge numbers. Uh, what, what were the breakdowns for the corner threes, and how do you kind of count uh, I think we overhelped quite a bit, um, but that's you know all of that's what happens when you don't contain drill penetration. So we got to be better at the point of attack, point of attack, and you know it'll help eliminate that. Does it feel like Houston's at their best with these attackers hitting, hitting those shots, hitting those threes? I mean, when you get 22 points from a guy that you don't plan on getting it from, you're usually better. So, yeah. I just don't think we were into the ball. We didn't play with the same force that we played with in game one. Cameron, what has this team done um, traditionally to bounce back from, from a tough loss? Because you guys seem to come out after a bad loss and be brilliant. I think we just, you know, I think we're at our best when we felt threatened. You know, game one, we felt threatened. We came out with the sense of urgency. Game two, we maybe didn't feel as threatened, and the sense of urgency wasn't there. So, you know, it's, I think you're allowed one of those a series. We've had our one, now it's time to lock in for the remainder of the series. Some of those defensive breakdowns, is communication a big part of that? Is it more just like man on ball defense? Uh, communication is important in any defense. Um, but was that an issue at all for you guys in game two? It all goes hand to hand. You know, communicating, guarding the ball, all goes hand to hand. I feel like we got diced up on the defensive end. When you watch the Reza go down the lane, completely uncontested in the second quarter on, on film. What kind of reaction did people have just seeing that play? No reaction. Uh, you know, I didn't really need to watch that on film to remember that play. Uh, you know, it just is what it is. It kind of sums the game up for us. When you are getting those, those stops on defense and then you get out in transition, is that when you, when you guys are really free-flowing and, and moving so well? Yeah, you know, we get stops, we push the tempo. You know, everybody on the court's a threat to score. Um, that's tough to guard. So, you know, it's important that we're, you know, we get stops to push the tempo, get the game at the pace that we want it, and, uh, you know, it should work out in our favor. You mentioned Go ahead. Jeremiah, how does play and, and the rest of the guys go about getting in the kind of looks that we got in game one? So I think a part of that is getting stops. We got stops in game one. You know, some of those looks come in transition. Defenses aren't set. Uh, we get stops, he'll get more looks. You use the phrase playing with force. Steve uses that phrase a lot, and Dan Tony was using it too. To you, what does that look like? Yeah, you can't get to this point and not play with force. So Steve's going to use it, I'm going to use it, Dan Tony's going to use it, James Harden's going to use it, Chris Paul's going to use it, Steph's going to use it, and the beat goes on. Uh, you can't play, not play with force at this point in the year, so everybody's going to use it. Play with force. Uh, I think sometimes it's needed, other times it's not. It gets kind of boring, but it is what it is. How do you guys help Steph get going on offense? Uh, we can't help Steph get going. Steph's going to help himself. No, he don't. He don't need any of us to create looks for him or anything like that. You know, he's going to do that himself, and we know he will. He said he doesn't even need to make one because he knows the first one he takes is going to go in. Is that about that? Uh, yeah, you have to talk to him about that. I don't know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just, is his confidence level, in your mind, always at a certain peak level? Does it ever waver, Barry? Uh, I mean, I, I don't think so. You know, he's a very confident guy. He's no, he knows what he's capable of. So, you know, he's always the same. He's never going to miss 
he's going to miss seven in a row, and he's going to heat check the eighth one. So, it's just how he is. Thank you. Thank you.